Right, I'm going through the process of setting up my loft to be a cutting area for sail manufacture. I've got a close over hatch there I can clear up and a projector for helping with cutting down that end. Um, I was originally going to project onto the floor and create uh, patches for cutting, but if I had a short throw projector, um, I'd be able to make a much larger piece. At the moment, I can only project about that, you know, about a meter and a half, two meters on the floor. Whereas what I'm going to do now is cut against the wall. So I'll put some brackets up top left, top right, and a bar across the top. Once I've got that bar, I'll tape some uh, material onto there and I'll be able to cut each of their panels. I'll mark the panels as they're projected, so I'll output these sorts of panels, uh, project them onto the material, draw onto the material, lay it on the floor, and on the floor, be able to cut out there. It would, like I said, if you had a short throw projector and you know, when I even built a 45 degree front surface mirror, so if you do get a short throw projector, let me know, you can probably have this. Um, yeah, that's all, still got the cover on, so. It, yeah, I was going to mark, uh, mount that in front of the projector so the reflection would come off of the front of the mirror and go down onto the floor. Uh, and you could cut directly on the floor. However, like I say, I'll mark mine and cut them afterwards. Another thing I'm going to need for this loft, uh, lots of little hooks on the wall so that I can make upside-down bridge sort of structures. Uh, which end up looking like arch kites. The length is going to allow me a, a lot to work with here. Got a lot of floor space. That's going to be moved off to the side. That's going to be my sewing bench over there. Um, the hatch, I'll be able to fold up the kites after they're made and put them down there like that. So notice the trikes. Don't let the kids up too much. Eh? 